Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to today's segment on quantum security, protecting communication in the quantum age. My name is Julie Singh and I'm a consultant with Encryption Consulting. Before we begin, for those who aren't familiar with Encryption Consulting, we are an established data protection consulting practice that covers all aspects of the data protection landscape, such as encryption, data security, key management, and privacy. We help clients in understanding and implementing cybersecurity as per their threat landscape. All right, with introductions out of the way, let's dive into quantum security. Our agenda today will cover nine topics, starting with a brief introduction to quantum security. We'll cover the rise of quantum computing and evolution in security measures. We'll cover two key areas of quantum security, which is post-quantum cryptography and quantum key distribution. And then we'll also spend some time on quantum security challenges, mitigation strategies, the future of quantum security, and real-world QKD systems. So what is quantum security? Quantum security is an emerging field focused on protecting communications in an era with quantum computers. As mentioned previously, there are two key areas in quantum security, which include post-quantum cryptography, or PQC, and which develops new encryption resistant to quantum attacks, and quantum key distribution, or QKD which leverages quantum physics for secure key exchange. So why is quantum security important to us? Today, communication has become the backbone of our routines. Technology is literally at our fingertips. Nearly every task can be completed via digital means, whether it's coordinating dinner plans um, or managing financial transactions. The power of emails, text messages, phone calls, and the internet is undeniable. But in this digital age where information is exchanged at the speed of light, the need for security is paramount. Cryptography has become the unsung hero in ensuring the confidentiality and integrity of our digital conversations. But with the evolution of quantum computers, classical cryptographic systems are at a higher risk to attacks. Post-quantum cryptography, though, focuses on developing algorithms and protocols that can withstand those attacks from quantum computers. Now, we'll cover PQC a little more later. We'll go ahead and move on to the rise of quantum computing and the evolution of security measures, and then we'll kind of come back to um, focus more on PQC and the QKD. So, Technology and our sources of digital communication have evolved rapidly over the last 20 or so years, as has quantum computing. With the evolution of technologies, the rise of quantum computing has become a pivotal chapter. From the years 2000 to 2019, quantum computing has steadily advanced, promising unparalleled computational capabilities. 2000 marks the first year of the breakthrough in quantum computing with a two qubit computing demonstration. Fast forward to 2017, IBM uh, went on to become a pioneer in quantum computing with the introduction of a 50 qubit quantum computer. This was the first of its kind. And then two years later, in 2019, Google claimed supremacy in quantum computing with the introduction of the Sycamore processor, which has 53 qubits. So we've talked about the evolution of our technology and quantum computers, but the exponential growth we've seen in the digital space has led to an increase in challenges and other threats, especially toward current cryptographic protocols, such as RSA and ECC. These challenges make current cryptographic protocols susceptible to future threats like stored now, de uh, decrypt later attacks. Because of this, we are now seeing enhanced security measures emerge. Post-quantum cryptography has been a savior against the expected threats towards encryption due to quantum computing. 
data encrypted with PQC would be nearly impossible for current or future quantum computers to crack because it relies on a mathematical problems that are difficult for quantum computers to solve, making it a resilient encryption. Now, diving a little deeper into post-quantum cryptography, there are three notable, notable PQC algorithms that have received attention and are worth mentioning. First, we have the lattice-based cryptography. Lattice-based cryptography is a type of cryptographic system that builds its security on the hardness of lattice problems, such as the shortest vector problem. In this approach, cryptographic algor algorithms utilize the properties of lattices, which are mathematical structures representing periodic arrangements of points in space. The security of lattice-based cryptograph cryptography relies on the computational complexity of solving lattice problems, which are believed to be difficult even for quantum computers. As a result, lattice-based crypt uh, cryptography offers a promising avenue for developing post-quantum cryptographic solutions. Um, a second algorithm is the code base uh, cryptography. Code-based cryptography is another cryptographic paradigm that relies on the hardness of decoding random linear codes. This approach utilizes error-correcting codes, which are mathematical constructs used to detect and correct errors in transmitted data. In code-based cryptography, security is based on the difficulty of decoding a randomly generated linear code without knowledge of the code's structure. This hardness is attributed to the um, combinatorial properties of error correcting codes, making them resistant to various attacks, including those from quantum computers. As a result, code-based cryptography remains a viable option for post-quantum cryptographic schemes. And then the third algorithm is the uh, multivariate polynomial cryptography. Multivariate polynomial cryptography is a cryptographic framework that utilizes systems of multivariate polynomial equations over finite fields. In this approach, cryptographic algorithms represent a mathematical equations involving multiple variables, variables and coefficients typically over finite fields. The security of multivariate polynomial cryptography relies on the computational complexity of solving systems of polynomial equations, which are believed to be difficult for classical and quantum computers alike. By leveraging the algebraic properties of multivariate, multivariate polynomials, this cryptographic scheme offers resilience against various cryptographic attacks, making it a potential candidate for post-quantum cryptographic solutions. Post-quantum cryptography introduces a new arsenal of algorithms and mathematical challenges. These cryptographic puzzles are designed to be so complex that not even the most sophisticated quantum computers can unravel them. The concept of stored now, decrypt later, attacks become a concern. Your current encrypted data, seemingly secure, could potentially be decrypted in the future by advanced quantum machines. To combat this, the tech community is pioneering new cryptographic frontiers. Welcome to the era of post-quantum cryptography and quantum key distribution. Now, let's dive into the quantum realm with quantum key distribution, or QKD. Imagine sending information through qubits the quantum units of information. This revolutionary technique ensures that any attempt to intercept the key encryption key is instantly detected. In the realm of quantum cryptography, understanding quantum states is fundamental. Quantum states represent the fundamental units of quantum information, analogous to uh, classical bits. However, unlike classical bits, which can only represent either 0 or 1, 
quantum states can exist in superpositions of both 0 and 1 simultaneously. This property, known as superposition, forms the basis of quantum key distribution. Now, let's delve into how these quantum states representing zeros and ones for the encryption key are generated, submitted, and measured. Quantum key distribution protocols, such as quantum key distribution, um, utilize quantum phenomena, such as the polarization of photo photons, to encode information. The sender generates quantum states representing the encryption key, encodes them into, onto photons, and sends them to the receiver. During transmission, these quantum states are vul vulnerable to eavesdropping. However, quantum mechanics offers a unique advantage, eavesdropping detection. By leveraging the principles of quantum mechanics, measurements of the quantum states allow the communicating parties to detect any eavesdropping attempts. Any attempt to intercept or measure the quantum states would disturb their delicate quantum properties, alerting the legitimate parties to the presence of an eavesdropper. This inherent eavesdropping detection mechanism ensures the security of the encryption keys exchanged between the communicating parties, laying the foundation for secure quantum communication. In the world of QKD, intercepting the key is not just an intrusion, it's a guarantee of detection. This proactive approach allows us to address potential security breaches by swiftly replacing the co compromised key before sensitive data is transmitted. So we mentioned briefly that there are new challenges and threats that are arising with the advancement of quantum security and quantum computers. Um, some of these key challenges include breaking cryptography. So quantum computers can run Shor's algorithm to break current crypt, uh, cryptography like RSA and ECC. We've mentioned this in previous slides. Uh, we also have harvesting encrypted data. Quantum computers enable adversaries to intercept and store encrypted data now to decrypt later. There are new cryptanalysis methods. Quantum computers enable new cryptanalysis techniques like Grover's algorithm to break symmetric cryptography. Then we have the quantum key distribution. Um, it, qu quantum key distribution allows secure, secure key exchange using quantum properties, but has distance limitations. And then we have the post-quantum cryptography, where we have new cryptographic algor algorithms like lattice-based and hash-based cryptography are needed to be quantum resistant. So now that we've discussed some of the challenges and threats that we're facing with the rise of quantum computing, how do we try to mitigate those threats? We need to implement strategies and adopt technologies that are resistant to the quantum attacks. Um, below are some of the strategies for like mitigation strategies for quantum security. We want to try to adopt quantum resistant public key encryption and signatures as early as possible. This will give the, a first mover advantage. We also need, want to harden existing infrastructure against quantum attacks um, and then develop and standardize post-quantum crypto systems. But most importantly, awareness and education is key. Education can prevent lot, a lot of threats in cybersecurity landscape. Educate developers and users on quantum threats. So what does the future look like um, of quantum security? As we unravel the secrets of quantum mechanics, we discover innovative ways to safeguard our communication. The quantum laws that once pose threats are now becoming the foundation of a new era in data security. Quantum key distribution allows two parties to generate a random key using properties of quantum mechanics. Ongoing research is focused on extending the the distance over which QKD can be performed and building quantum networks to continue multiple users. Post-quantum cryptography <coughs> aims to develop encryption algorithms that are secure against attacks from the quantum computer. Speaking of QKD systems, here are some real-world quantum key distribution systems. So we have IDQ from Vision to Technology. We have uh, Mitsubishi Electric.
and um, then we have Mosin's Labs. Well, this brings us to the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed the topic of quantum security, protecting communication in the quantum age. If your organization is looking for more information on quantum computing and assessment, please reach out to info and encryptionconsulting.com for further information. You may also visit www.encryptionconsulting.com forward slash contact us forward slash and leave us a brief message. We post content frequently, so we encourage you to follow our channel for more interesting videos on encryption and cybersecurity. Thank you.